egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. Always begin by removing the battery and AC adapter. Unscrew the seven retaining screws to remove the access base cover. Lift and remove the access base cover door. Disconnect and remove the antennas from the wireless PCI cards. Remove the antenna wires from the routing channels. Remove the seven screws from the bottom base assembly. Remove the two screws right below the battery that hold down the center control media button cover. Flip the laptop over. Open the laptop screen as wide as possible. Carefully lift the center control media button cover away from the base. Be careful lifting the cover up. The media cable is still attached to the motherboard. Unscrew the two screws holding the keyboard to the base assembly. Remove the keyboard trim plastic. Start by lifting the plastic at the top of the corner, working your way around the keyboard. Be very careful while lifting the keyboard up because the cable is connected to the motherboard and can break the latch. Carefully lift the cable latch and unhook the cable, removing the keyboard. Carefully lift the center control media button cover cable latch and remove the cover. Loosen the antenna wires from the upper routing channels. Disconnect the power button cable from the motherboard. Unscrew the single retaining screw holding down the LCD cable. Disconnect the camera cable and LCD cable from the motherboard. Remove the seven screws holding down the palm rest to the base assembly. Disconnect the three palm rest cables. Lift and remove the palm rest away from the base assembly. Remove the single retaining screw. Disconnect the two ribbon cables. The top cable has a latch that pivots up. The bottom cable slides straight out of the connector. Lift the USB Firewire I.O. circuit board away from the base. Connect the ribbon cables. Place the USB Firewire I.O. circuit board into the base. Screw in the retaining screw.
Place the palm rest onto the base and snap down the edges. Place the seven screws that hold down the top of the palm rest. Plug in the three cables. Connect the three palm rest cables. Reroute and connect the LCD and camera cable to the motherboard. Tighten the single retaining screw. Reroute the antenna wires through the upper routing channel. Connect the power button wire to the motherboard. Pass the antenna wires through the motherboard to the bottom. Connect the center control media button cover. Install the keyboard cable into the connector and press down on the latch. Lay the keyboard into the base and secure it with the two screws. Replace the keyboard trim plastic. Snap the media button cover to the base. Close and flip the laptop over. Place the seven screws that hold down the palm rest to the base assembly. Reroute and connect the antennas to the wireless PCI card. Place the base access cover onto the base and tighten the seven screws. Reseat the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.